Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks so much for joining me today on TCM, where we're continuing our Summer Under the Stars salute to Gregory Peck. Throughout his career, which spanned five decades in nearly every film genre, Peck consistently played characters who were defined by their uncompromising morals and values. We're about to see him play one of these roles in a film he made at the height of his popularity. From 20th Century Fox in 1949, it's 12 o'clock high. This is a World War II movie that was released four years after the war had ended, when audiences were ready for Hollywood to show the darker and more complex aspects of the war, as opposed to the flag-waving patriotic films that had been produced during the war. The story focuses on a group of soldiers in the 918th Bomb Group stationed at an airbase in the English countryside who have been flying missions to destroy German targets, but they haven't been successful. They're demoralized and overly coddled by their commander, but things change when the command changes and a tough-as-nails brigadier general, played by Gregory Peck, takes over. This isn't a war movie that focuses on action-packed combat sequences. Instead, the emphasis is on the psychological dynamics between the rigid commander and his men. At first, Gregory Peck turned down the leading role in this film when Fox studio chief Daryl Zanuck offered it to him. But Zanuck felt that Peck was the only actor for the job, and he finally persuaded him. It turned out to be the right move for Peck. His performance earned him his fourth Oscar nomination for Best Actor. From 1949, also with Hugh Marlowe, Gary Merrill, and an Oscar-winning performance from Dean Jagger, 12 O'Clock High. 12 O'Clock High received four Academy Award nominations, and it won two Oscars, one for Best Sound and another for Dean Jagger as Best Supporting Actor. It was also nominated for Best Picture and for Gregory Peck, as Best Actor. This was Peck's fourth nomination in the Best Actor category, and it came only five years after he made his film debut. In the first five years of his Hollywood career, Gregory Peck gave Oscar-nominated performances in The Keys of the Kingdom, The Yearling, Gentleman's Agreement, and 12 O'Clock High. He finally won an Oscar for playing Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. In 1968, Peck was again recognized by the Academy as the recipient of the Gene Hersholt Humanitarian Award, and one year later, his humanitarian work also earned him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Coming up, Gregory Peck stars in a film he also produced, an epic western from 1958, directed by William Wyler. 